Okay, we got a, I think it's a Honda Pilot in the shop here. Me and Minnie were doing, um, doing like a hood guard basically with this 3M shadow camo. And then we're doing the uh, door sill guards here on all four doors and the, the rear hatch with it also. Um, I've already laid down some knifeless tape. Let me a quick show here how it's going to look. And then I'm just going to cut off some excess right now. A little bit much on there and then uh, start laying it down. That's a little better. Alright, so I have cleaned already, but I'm gonna clean it again. Just to be sure. Got it on the wall for now. And then we'll go over to some alcohol. Yeah, they had a. Um, a hood guard in on here and one of those arrow skins that sticks on and started uh, coming off and flapping you might see there's a bit of damage from it there so just wants to cover it up and give them a little protection at the same time if it doesn't look the greatest I might recommend them do a gloss black I think it would look good with that black on the grill there I always like the sound of this stuff makes me squeegee it. I don't know why, but... That's looking pretty good. I'm going to go over it with a bit of heat and then uh, I'll pull the knifeless tape. I'll cut the rest, go over heat again, and then that'll be that. On to the next bit. I actually think it might look pretty cool. I'm going to watch for any bubbles popping up, any wrinkles, fingers, whatever like that. Fingers, dog legs, whatever you want to call them. Alright, I'll make a little slice to start the knife with tape. I'll lift it up, slice here, and then I'll pull it and uh, trim the bottom. Just do a little slice here, it helps it start. This wrap, you'd probably get away with it, but if I'm, for some thicker stuff, it really helps a lot. Can you see this? Well, I've been seeing people post about this in the wrap group. Knifeless tape's not making a clean cut. 
Yeah. Well, we, we did got back where I am. Just the tape, made sure it didn't have any wrinkles like that. It, it, it if I could show you, where's the roll? Of course, there's not going to be a spot like that here. But the uh, the cutting line in it is is a uh, zigzag in a couple spots, basically. All right, for this for this, you want your blade real short, and you want to make sure you're right in that groove. You could try and kind of cut here, which I might do along the bottom. But for this, I'm going to go with a bit of overlap. I'm going to cut right in the center of this. Even Steven. I mean, can I get you to move? Come on. Come on. Good girl. Yeah, you can work over here for now. And it does help to have it stuck like that. That way it holds it tight. I'm just kind of hugging the edge of it. That's like pretty cool. Alright, I'll pop the hood, I'll press all the edge down, I'll heat it up, make sure it's good, and we'll move on. That's that. That's pretty good. I'll we'll move on to the doors. Well, the battery died, but I got the one door here done. Turned out pretty good. Um, I'm just working on the back now. Got the knifeless tape on there. Just laying it down right now. Start it on this side here. My knees are gonna be skewed when I'm older. Got some good game of this. It works pretty good. What's going on, man? What are the dogs saying to you? They mouthing you off? Minnie, no. Why? Minnie! Come on. It's enough. Go lay down. What are you going on about? Think about leaving this top part for them. 
Give him more protection. I just want it for scratches, really. Not sure. I think that was actually them that walked by. I think it was barking out there. Hey, man. I think that was their vehicle. I don't like the rush, but the GoPro says I only have a minute of memory left, so we need to get this done. Yeah, that's pretty well that. That is a wrap. So, can't decide whether or not to leave it or not. Well, I guess we'll cut it.